the World Summit on Artificial Intelligence is opening its doors today here in Paris. Now, of course, AI already revolutionising the world, and it's become the baby as well of the French President Emmanuel Macron here in Europe, who aims to make it a real cornerstone of French technology. Now, the summit has uh, first several days of discussions between experts on the technology before the world's tech bosses and heads of state arrive on Monday. Well, we're going to cross live to it now and find France 24's technology expert, Peter O'Brien, who joins us from there. Peter, tell us then a little bit about uh, the summit there and what's happening today. So today we're at the Ecole Polytechnique, which is a huge campus to the south of Paris. And it's where all the boffins are gathering for the first of two science days. Uh, that's before a cultural weekend this weekend and then the summit proper on Monday. So today we've got the likes of uh, researchers from Meta, Google DeepMind, IBM. We've got representation from top universities like MIT, Stanford, um, and, of course, the Ecole Polytechnique. In fact, uh, we just watched Laura Chaubat, who's the Director General of Ecole Polytechnique, crack a little joke at the start of the, uh, today's talks, uh, saying that in three years, maybe universities won't exist anymore because of AI. And we've also got representation from the French government. So Clara Chapaz is here. She's uh, the Minister for uh, Minist Digital Minister and artificial intelligence minister. They've added that to her title. And um, also uh, Anne Bouffreau, who's the president's envoy to the summit. So today is really talking innovation and science. Um, the French really wanted to start the summit with a conversation around that rather than anything specifically to do with uh, risk. Yeah, we've heard an awful lot, haven't we, from Emmanuel Macron about artificial intelligence over the last uh, uh, few months. What are France's objectives, Peter? So it should be no surprise that what's happened in recent weeks with uh, DeepSeek in China releasing an incredibly efficient AI model, that's kind of pulled the rug under Europe's plan a bit. Because if you'll remember, Mistral is France's champion for AI and indeed Europe's champion for AI in this new wave of highly intelligent generative AI models. Mistral was kind of the one that was supposed to be um, producing an efficient open source model, but looks like the Chinese got there first. So now France is scrambling to drum up more investment and have more conversations over how we can push Europe to the frontier of AI and how we can possibly catch up with the United States and China that are locked in this race together. Um, and Bouvreau, I just mentioned there, um, I spoke to her earlier because I wanted to find out where she thinks the US's head is at. We know that VP, um, uh, the Vice President of the United States, uh, J.D. Vance, will be coming along. Um, and we also know that Donald Trump, one of the first things he did coming into office was rip up Joe Biden's executive order uh, trying to guardrail and make AI more safe. So that's out the window. Um, the draft declaration here is entitled something like uh, inclusive and sustainable artificial intelligence for people and planet. Um, so I asked her, is that something the US is going to want to sign up to? Well, this is a summit that uh, has about 100 uh, uh, heads of states that are invited, and we hope as many of them as possible sign it. Um, uh, we really hope that we can show the power of the collective and, and of a number of countries who want this direction for AI. We are expecting lots of announcements on things like workers' rights, sustainability, public interest AI. These are all things that France might find allies with, but it's still very uncertain how the US is going to react to all this. Peter, thanks very much. Peter Brown there. Uh, Peter Brown there, our technology editor, joining us there from the AI Summit. A lot more on that, of course, uh, over uh, the coming days here on France 24.